now let us discuss about looping control statements or can also be called as iterative control statements in javascript first let us see about what is the advantage of looping control statements by using looping control statements we can execute a set of statements repeatedly so if you want to execute a set of statements more than once then we have to go for looping control statements or iterative control statements in javascript mainly we have three types of looping control statements are there first one is for loop second one is while loop third one is do while loop now let us discuss about these three in detail with the help of uh, programs first let us see about for loop it is mainly useful in order to execute a set of statements repeatedly let us see the syntax of the for loop for within the parenthesis initialization semicolon condition semicolon incrementation or decrementation within the curly braces body of the for loop that is statement block and after the for loop statement x okay so first let us see about what is initialization initialization means assigning a value to the variable assigning a right hand side value to the left hand side variable initialization is done with the help of the is equal to operator let us see examples i is equal to 1 so 1 is initialized to i a is equal to 10 so now 10 will be initialized to a total is equal to 100 so now 100 will be initialized to total so now total contains 100 now let us see the second expression expression 1 is initialization now let us see about expression 2 that is condition for conditions mainly we use as relational and logical operators relational operators are greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to double is equal to not equal to strict equality operator such as triple equal to strict inequality operator such as not double equal to various logical operators are logical and logical or and logical not let us see various examples a greater than 10 so this is a condition b double equal to 10 equality operator this is also a condition a less than b double and a less than c so this is another condition now let us see expression 3 expression 3 is incrementation or decrementation here we have to use incrementation and decrementation operators for updating the value of the variable examples a plus plus a minus minus likewise let us see how for loop will be executed first initialization will be done after that condition will be evaluated suppose if the condition is true then statement block will be executed and after executing the statement block again incrementation or decrementation will be done and after that condition will be evaluated if condition is true then body of the for loop that is statement block will be executed and after that incrementation or decrementation will be done and once again condition will be checked likewise the statement block that is the body of the for loop will be executed as long as condition is true whenever the condition becomes false then the control comes out from the for loop and statement x will be executed now let us see with the help of an example uh, let we have a variable called i let us display the numbers from uh, uh, 1 to 10 for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus next uh, document dot write off let us display the content in header so that uh, the content will be displayed in uh, bolder styles and uh, larger font sizes i is equal to display i i plus and then we have to close the header tag header tag close the header tag so h1 i is equal to plus i plus and we are closing the header tag okay now let us save the program and run the program so that we will get output from i is equal to 1 to i is equal to 10 okay let us see the output if you observe the output here we got the output from i is equal to 1 to i is equal to 10 now let us see the second looping control statement that is while 
It is also useful to execute a set of statements repeatedly. Let's see the syntax while of condition within the curly braces statement block that is body of the while loop and after the curly braces statement x. So here the first condition will be evaluated. If the condition is true, then statement block will be executed. And after that, once again, control goes to the condition. Again, condition will be tested. If the condition is true, then statement block will be executed. And after that, control will be transferred to the condition. Once again, condition will be tested. Likewise, the body of the while loop, that is statement block will be executed as long as condition is true. Whenever the condition is false, then the control comes out from the while loop and statement x will be executed. Let us see an example for the while loop. Uh, let the initial value, let us display the values from 1 to 5. i is equal to 1. Here we, we want to display from 1 to 5. So while i less than or equal to 5, while i less than or equal to 5, if this condition is true, then display the values, okay? Display the values. And after displaying 1, we have to increment the i value. So i plus plus, okay? Let us see the program execution. If we execute this program, then i will be displayed from 1 to 5. Let us see the output. If we observe the output, we got output from i is equal to 1 to 5. So this is about while loop. Now let us see about do while loop. It is mainly useful in order to execute a set of statements repeatedly like for loop and while loop. It is also useful to execute a set of statements repeatedly. Let us see the syntax initialization. So here on top of the while also we can write the initialization. Here within the do, do within the curly braces we have to write the statement block. After the right curly brace, we have to check the condition and while condition ends with the semicolon. Okay. Uh, so here what we happen? First the body of the do while, that is statement block will be executed and after that condition will be tested. If the condition is true, then once again the body of the do while, that is statement block will be executed and after that condition will be tested. Once again condition will be evaluated. If the condition is true, then once again body will be executed. Likewise, the body will be executed as long as the condition is true. Whenever the condition is false, then the control comes out from the do while loop and statement x will get executed. Now let us see the program. Uh, let us display the numbers from 1 to 7. So y i is less than or equal to 7. While i is less than or equal to 7. If we run this program, we will get output from 1 to 7. So 1 to 7. Okay. Uh, the major difference between while loop and do while loop is that in while loop, if the condition is false for the first time, then nothing will be executed. Nothing will be executed. Whereas in do while loop, even if the condition is false for the first time, even if the condition is false for the first time, the body will be executed minimum once. Why? Because here what is do by loop? First we are executing the statement block and then we are checking the condition. So even though condition is false for the first step, the body will be executed minimum once. Whereas here in by loop if the condition is false for the first step, then nothing will be executed. So this is about looping or iterative control statements in JavaScript.